Welcome back to another Guardian Tales video. We are on floor number nine. We are on the boss. And let's see, is there anything new to talk about? Not so much. Not so much. Our artifacts. It has taken me the entire time. I think we started from floor one on this one, and I think that is my suggestion. Every time I start and I skip, so I'm on, I start at like floor six or whatever, um, you get six chances to choose an artifact, and it's just complete garbage. But if you run from floor one all the way up, yes, you're going to get less um, bottle caps in the short term. But you're going to have so many opportunities to get good artifacts that it'll just be better in the long run. But we've had to work very, very hard to get anything close to good. I still want 50% um, more weapon skill regen speed. But we'll just roll with it, and I'm willing to give up damage to do that. But it's been difficult to get this stuff where we are. Anyways... Okay, so can we RNG a win out of here? We do have a lot of damage in low defense, so I think if I reset enough that I think that we'll be successful. I'm going to put on 1x speed just to kind of see how fast the damage is moving here. And I see Agba getting chewed up. It would be nice to have 50% shield on start, but um, the regen speed is uh, my number one priority. Because like you can see right here, once those weapon skills get rolling, um, tons of damage is going out, tons of shielding is going out, you're getting all the sustain that you need from Aoba. I do wonder if I have 50% um, heal when I kill an enemy, and I have 50% shield when starts, and I have all the, the weapon skill regen stuff I'm talking about, please stay alive. Aoba did die, We're gonna. I'm just going to let it go a little bit longer and see how this goes. Um, I do th I think I could possibly drop a healer. Do we even have a chance? I really don't want to have Aoba out. More fireworks going off. I don't know why. It's not a holiday. It's just a Wednesday. 30 seconds on the clock. All right. So hopefully that wasn't like the lucky run there and I get smashed in the next 10 attempts. But I think that if we get a little bit better RNG, Aoba can survive for a minute and uh, we can probably keep her on. If I have to let Aoba die to finish this, we do have Karina to put in, but she heals significantly less, and since I'm doing the weapon skill strategy, it's very nice to have the Aoba chain skill heal. So hopefully we get a little bit luckier. I think if she just um, dodged one or two more hits, like why, why is she walking through all that? If she dodged a couple more hits, I think that um, she'd be golden and she'd be able to sustain herself. Especially as we get more kills going out. Don't walk into that, baby girl. What are you doing? See, there we go. That's a lot better. And we'll just keep an eye on her. She is wearing the neat skin. I think it's out of the store, but it's a common one. It'll probably come back often enough, but there we go. I'm concerned about the laser beams. AI does not do well against laser beams. As you can see, please, Aoba, run, baby girl. What are you doing? What are you doing, Aoba? Why can't you just not walk into the laser beams? We're able to get to the same point two times in a row, so I think that maybe this boss is not that difficult and we can just keep going until we get lucky. Really don't want to lose her, man. I bet she'd be really good with full awakening and all that good stuff, but I don't want to awaken a two-star hero, especially as they're adding in new supports and things like that. I would consider um, awakening, God, that was just instant kill. I would consider awakening Idol Eva, though. A lot of people um, look down on her, but I think she's actually quite good on paper. I just kind of want to test her out a little bit more. I'll get her to five star, see how she is eventually, and then um, from there, we'll just decide. Um, I would save my hero crystals for Bari whenever I get her, just because I need the DPS. But I think if I had a... God, she died instantly. If I had a, um, a 71 Idle Eva here, I think I might be getting enough heals and enough team damage buff to make everything work, and I could probably take Aoba out. But we'll see. Um, basic... The basic team synergy is still kind of lacking. You know... I, I'm the only reason I'm even talking about Idle Eva is because Nari is so good. 
A lot of damage going out. Lots of damage. I think Agma. Ooh, he got lucky there, boy. He got lucky there. I thought Agma was going to fall. But he overdid. I'll probably put it on double speed next time so we can get through this a little bit faster. But uh, I will, I'm willing to be patient. There's no reason for me to rush here. If I have a good chance of keeping Aoba from being dropped off the team. Karina's all right, but um, she's not amazing in any way. It is kind of nice that it gives Agma some DPS, but I don't think it increases his reflect damage. That's just a guess. That could be wrong. If team dark damage didn't did increase his reflect or his thorns, whatever you want to call it, um, that actually would be cool. Dude, Aoba, how, how bad are you, bro? That's so bad. Oh, the AI, frustrating. It's like, it's almost like when you're doing a raid in one of those games like WoW or whatever, and um, everybody has the raid down. Everybody's doing their job, but there's like two or three people that just can't not stand in fire, and everyone's just trying to be chill about it, and they're like, yeah, they'll get it, they'll get it. But in reality, the whole guild is just waiting for those two to three people to either get lucky enough to not stand in fire or to, there we go, look at that damage. Um, to just get lucky enough to not stand in fire or to finally put it together and be and just like, oh, dude, I remember doing raids. I actually like progression rating and I'm super patient with it. I don't mind. As long as everybody stays decent morale, I got no problems with it. Range defense, basic attack, none of them. Um, as long as you see people trying to make the effort and everybody keeps decent morale, I got no problem with it, but man. Anyways, all right. Um, typically I go for the reds, but since I have so much currency, I'm gonna go for the shop on this one. And I'm just seeing if there's anything that makes any sense. Yeah, we're going for the shop. Um, I've been super unlucky at the shop. I haven't gotten anything good. All of the things that I've obtained have been from Killing reds and killing bosses, basically. But I've got 600 silver currency. When I first started off, I had those two of the green artifacts that give you extra currency. So um, we got a lot of currency, but nothing to spend it on. All I really need is one more skill regen thing, and then um, I'll start replacing my melee and range damage with skill damage. And... I kind of would like to get a shield when the battle starts, but if you watch the the interface, my team's getting so much shielding, and it's all from Marina doing her uh, weapon skill and chain skill. And uh, she does give more shielding when she has the damage increase on it, so it's crazy strong. But hey, it's Marina, of course it's crazy strong. Let's put that up there, and there we go. But I'm happy with the team. I just I really want to test out and see if I could swap out um, Aoba with either Idol Eva or with um, Bari. That would be the next, the final frontier. I don't think I'm going to limit break Eugene anytime soon. Um, I just plan on five starring her and then finishing her awakening up to that point, and then just chilling. I do think Eugene's probably going to be really fun with her with her five star special. Because um, when she hits, she gets 30% defense, which could help with her issue of instantly dying the moment anything looks at her. And then she'll also have 30% speed, which will be pretty good. Let's see. All right. Um, monkey of Camazon. Monkey appears out of nowhere. He's trying to tease you. He's throwing rocks and making a fuss. Get mad at him. Play along with him. Ignore him. Whatever. I think all these are just going to end up with me fighting him. Oh, hey, look at that. Wait. I just lost melee attack, and I gained hit point recovery on enemy kill. That's not good. Opens your bag and replaces our fight with your bag with his. Ah, <sighs> melee attack, and then recovery. All right, whatever. We'll play on it. Replacing it here. If there's anything good, literally no green. This is what ha this is what's been happening. Um, every shop that I've gone to has just had straight garbage. Feels bad. I'm like, yeah, it's no big deal. I'll just replace that with whatever. 
So what do we have? We have two of these. The thing is, you're already getting enough heals from one, so we lost melee damage. Hopefully we won't find any ranged immune enemies for a minute. And it's really unfortunate I'll have one more attack, because then I could do another boss in this video. I guess you guys love to uh, stay tuned. We are on uh, level 10, which is pretty cool. Let's do that swap. Let's see how this goes. Level 10. But like I said, I think it's much better to start from floor one, have a better chance of getting decent artifacts. If you do the skip, unless you're skipping to like level 10 because you're on level 13 or whatever, I don't think you're gonna have enough opportunities to get good artifacts. But like I said, if you're level 10, if, if you can skip to level 10, skip to 15, skip to 20, something like that, uh, first off, you don't need my advice because you're going further. But uh, I think at that point, you'll have enough chances to choose the eight artifacts that you need. So I think maybe skipping to 10 is like the sweet spot. Maybe we'll see. Well, unfortunately, we cannot go to that boss. That'd be pretty cool. But floor 10. We're gonna go right to the boss next chance that we get. And um, I think you can get to the point where you just buy everything. We were super low on blue. I always get the Legendary Awakening Stone first, then I get Hero Crystals first, then I get whatever I need. Um, and keep in mind, you can only buy a certain amount. So like for the one at the top here, the High Grade Dreamstone, you can only get two, um, more fireworks. You can only get two of uh, those every four days or however long, whatever, every week, I guess it is. So I just keep a look and see what crystals or what stones I'm the lowest in, and I try to even it out. And you could just pile up a bunch of currency. If, you, if there's none of these stones that you really need, you might as well just pile up currency and just, you can buy the hero crystals faster when they come out the next time because there's no timer on the, the hammers. So if I wanted to go all in and just grab a bunch of hammers, um, there's no rush to do that unless I need the hammers immediately. Well, there you go, boys. That's the update in Camazone. As always, I appreciate y'all for watching it. I'll see you in the next video.